This is Johnny News Interactive. Let's now do some tech trends. It's a Wednesday, you know. Have you ever typed a serious document like your thesis or a report for your boss or even put together a presentation a night before the deadline and suddenly the document deletes or your machine goes off before you could even save the file? Now, instinctively, when your machine is turned on, you try to figure out if your device ought to save the file. If it did, hallelujah. If not... Your hands go over your head. And sometimes you shed a few tears or hit your fist against the wall. But is there a way to recover those files, even if your device didn't autosave? I'm not a tech expert. I don't have the answers. But Kobe is here, and he's got the answers. Hello, how are you? Hi, I'm good. It's good to see you. Good I love Wednesdays, you. you know that, yeah, because I get to have Should you here. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about recovering files. Oh I mean... I know that sometimes you can get your uh, Microsoft Word or Microsoft yeah. uh, PowerPoint or Excel to yeah. autosave. Yes. But sometimes something goes wrong. Mm -hmm. It doesn't autosave. So in the case where you are not checking your battery level, your machine just goes, goes off, off and you don't save, or somewhere, somehow, your machine crashes mm. and it's gone, especially when you have a deadline. <laughs> it always happens when you have a deadline. I know. Almost right. all the time. So what do you do? Um, okay, so... Actually, your computer is always auto-saving the document. Oh, wow. Yes. But then we don't know it does that. So we always tend to hope that we get a recovery document, which comes back when we re reopen the file. Mm -hmm. But that comes back when you have saved it before. Yes. But imagine that you just typed a thing you haven't even saved, and mm -hmm. then you click close, and it says, do you want to save? Some and you say, you don't, don't save yeah. accidentally. You Oof. Lost it. But here's the trick. So when you open your document, like Microsoft Word again, mm -hmm. and you go to File, okay. and when you click on File, you have an option which says there's Info, there's Recent, and in, this is Office 2016, there's Office 2013, there's Office 2010. So in the next slide, you'd see the, the options that we're talking about. So okay. you see here, where you go, you can see I've pointed there, Info. info. Okay. So you click on Info, and in the next slide, you'd see that we have under there, there'll be a feature that says manage documents. Okay. So manage documents, and then under manage documents, there's recover and save documents. Oh, wow. Yes. How can I, how can we, I, I don't know, did you know? No. <laughs> I'm not sure you knew. You're just like me at home. <laughs> I didn't know I could do this. I'd have saved myself a lot of tears. A lot of them. You know, because when I was doing my thesis, uh, when I was coming out of school, I had, a very so terrible much. encounter. Yeah. And I didn't know I could do this. So I had to rework it all over again, like two chapters of my thesis. You know, I found out about, about this. Tell me. I was preparing our business review for, okay. the, uh, for our department. And this was a heavy document, a PowerPoint presentation, mm -hmm. about 25 megabytes. And then, boom, saw. So. Oh, sorry. And I totally forgot <laughs> that I hadn't plugged in my laptop and I lost everything, mm. I thought. And I'm like, no, nah, I can't start all over again. So I went through a computer and then I found it and I recovered it. So th it's as simple as this? It's as simple as this. It's another way if you're using an older version of Office. Okay. So on the next slide, you see that. When you click this, actually, it takes you to, you see in the top there, you can see Office and Save Files. Yeah. Yeah. So the first line in this document was my really important document. Oh, so that's okay. the name it gave to it. Oh, right. Aha. So you click it. So if you have other documents in there that you haven't saved, they'll all be there with the first line as the file name. Mm -hmm. So you just double click on this. Even though it's not a document, you can see the extension is .asd. Mm -hmm. The extension is the file name that comes after the, the name. So it's auto save document. That's why it's ASD. So you double click on this. You click on open and then it opens. It takes you to the file that you're looking for. Alternatively, wow. you have this, if you're using an older version of Microsoft Office, when you go to File and you go to Open, you'll see Recover and Save Documents so at the bottom. So you don't need to go to Info? No, you don't okay. need to go to Info. You just go to That's Open. That's an older version, older of, version Microsoft. of Microsoft Word. And, or Office. Mm. You'll see um, Recover and Save Documents at the bottom. So once you click on that, it takes and you back bottom. to the same okay. folder where I showed you the first time. So okay. once you click on in that folder and open it, you okay. have it again. But does, it, does this apply for other Microsoft applications? Yes. Like it's the same thing in uh, Excel. It's the same okay. thing in PowerPoint. Mm. It's the same thing. So run us through it again. Yes. So mm -hmm. right from the beginning, when you just open the application again, you go to File, and then you go to Info, if you're using the latest version of Microsoft Word, and then you'd see Manage. Okay. Once you see the Manage um, 
documents, under manage documents, you see recover and saved files. Okay. Now once you do that, you find the file right there. Wow. So yeah. file info. Info. That's for the latest Microsoft. For the latest Microsoft Office. Office uh, yeah. Then, then manage, documents, manage document, then recover, recover and save, and, save document. and then you find, then you find it the there. there you wow, I'm going to give this a try when I leave here. Thank you so much. It's, it, I mean, this is eye-opening and sometimes embarrassing that you didn't know a very simple way to they get... They should have <laughs> made it so obvious. Yeah, I mean, there should be bells and whistles around this because it would save a lot right, of people from right. tears. Th thank you so much. Uh, but, I mean, this is a special request. Mm. Let's just go through this again. Okay. If you just joined us, Kobe Nkrumah is teaching us how to save files you may have lost if your device didn't auto-save. You know, sometimes you have the auto-save option and then when you come back, it automatically opens the mm. file for yeah. you. But there are cases where, like he experienced, there's doom saw and you don't <laughs> charge your laptop and it goes off. And whew, sometimes you shed tears like I did. I mean, it was very painful, you know, especially when you've exerted a lot of effort. I know. All right, so I feel it. open the application. Go to file. Go to file, like you see the red arrow pointing, pointing there. there. And that's for the latest version, ma of, uh, Microsoft version of Microsoft Office. Yeah. So that's just for you to know. And then uh, after you do that, you, you get see, these options. Yeah. And well, then you, you click, click info, info where the red arrow is pointing. pointing. And once you click on info, you get a couple of options. And then you, then you the click the third and last option, yes. which is manage, manage document. document. And then you're given some other recover options. Recover and save documents. Don't go and click on delete, delete all again. <laughs> or after that one, if it's not right, then that's it. I'm sure we'll have to find a very long process of retrieving. But please. Next week, we'll teach them how to recover deleted files. So. OK, all right. But just click recover on saved documents. Mm. And once you click it, um, another dialogue, dialogue box, box will pop up, up and uh, it will show you the first line. Sometimes yeah, it really does that word when you don't save it in, mm -hmm. in a way you want to recognize. It really saves the first line. So here for Kobe it was my really important document. <laughs> and there you go. You're opening it and voila, it's back. Yeah. And this time, don't forget to save it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if you're using an older version, then you go to open, recent, mm -hmm. and then you click on the recover and save documents which wow. is at the bottom there wow thank you so much for teaching us this copy we really really appreciate <laughs> all right and just a quick question uh copy yeah. before we move on so do you have all the time or this is really limited um this is quite it depends on what kind of you know softwares you're running sometimes you may have some softwares that clean up your temporary files and all that after you and those those softwares can clean these unsaved documents mm. but in most of the time it happens right after you realize oh you lost it right yeah. after and then you go looking yeah. so there's like an instant way to get it back there's it's going to be very difficult for you to get to that point where you lost it and you're not sure you know you know what i'm saying mm, like mm. it's it, it yeah. won't get to that point it won't get to that yeah. point all right great so Kobe, what we are talking tech trends, there's something new happening with Twitter, you know. I know WhatsApp, yes. WhatsApp brought that delete option. Yes, you know, for everyone. For everyone. Which but has been on Telegram forever. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't hear that. I was supposed to hear that a little. All right, but Kobe, the, the interesting thing with that is mm. that you would get to know if I delete a post I yeah. send you. And then, you know, it, it can really hurt questions. relationships, you know. Especially if, if your wife or your spouse is sending you a tweet, or not a tweet, sorry, a WhatsApp a message. WhatsApp and they delete it mm. then you're like what did you're you getting say? suspicious like was that to me what was it you know but today let's talk about um twitter hashtag 280, 280 characters is trending you mm. can now tweet 280 characters twitter has officially doubled their 140 character now um after a trial run, they um, doubled their 140 character limit after a trial run. Now, a lot of Twitter users are tweeting the excitement. Mm -hmm. I tweeted as well because, you know, sometimes with the 140, you need to edit, come back, try and summarize, yeah. try and find out, is there a shorter way of writing, writing this? Because it can really get stressful when Vowels you're tweeting. have been killed because yeah. of 140 characters. I know, right? <laughs> but now it's 280, it's double, and a lot of yeah. people are tweeting about it. I saw a tweet from um, Dr. Menzo Tabo mm -hmm. today. He says, oh, a lot more words to inspire, hashtag. 280 80 characters. characters and that's trending on Twitter but what do you think about it Kobe? Um, some people are saying the essence of Twitter is lost because you know Twitter was founded on SMS technology where you're limited to 140 characters so you know it, it sort of spurred a mm. level of people 
cre being more creative with their words and then be more creative with how they wrote. But for someone like me, I'm a man of many words. I like writing a lot. So mm -hmm. if you follow me on Facebook, you're like, I write more on Facebook than I write on Twitter. Yeah. So 280 characters is good. Some of us will definitely come to yeah. Twitter and make more noise. And a lot of people are excited. But you know the interesting thing? No. So a lot of people are really tweeting <laughs> nothing. They are just <laughs> tweeting words and emojis and all that <laughs> simply because you yeah, can. You can 280 not. characters. So BBCF tweets, hashtag... 280 characters you say, you say okay, okay and just check out what they tweet now just to all the animals that everything you can nature. actually tweet 280 uh, characters and um martin osborne is replying says noted as, noticed as well that emojis take up two characters hmm, interesting mm -hmm. and bbc earth replies not all characters are made equal and uh, yeah a lot of a lot of comments coming through on that particular one uh doctor who says all right okay <laughs> hashtag 280 characters, hashtag doctor who sing along with me. Do we all? You see, I mean, there's people are just, people are just excited. Oh. And I remember someone just was tweeting movie titles just because you can, honestly. Yep. Yeah, but let's see how it goes. So just yours. look at that. <laughs> Folks, take hashtag 280 characters as paycheck. Don't blow up all. Save half <laughs> and get benefited. Later, um, uh, 26, I beg your pardon, 26 retweets, 54 likes. Then, uh, just look at that, Kobe. Just, just, just look at that. Can we just scroll up? Just, just, Kobe, really? Oh, wow. Just because, <laughs> just because you can tweet 280 characters Someone anyway. Says good usage. Good usage, really. I, I think don't I'm think going to so. do something creative myself. Yeah, let's just do something <laughs> creative with it. But thank you so much, Twitter. At thank least they had the cry us. of the people. Yeah. And uh, this one said, with hashtag 280 characters, we'll now be seeing ropes <laughs> instead of threats. All right. That's a hilarious one. That Before we go, talking about hilarious stuff. Hey, we'll be uh, back again, God willing, tomorrow with another edition of Joy News Interactive. My name is Benis Abubedo. I've been bringing you the show together with Kobe, who brought us Tech Trends. You stay safe. Mm -hmm.